guys, I'm Sean Hamlin with PremierGuitar.com. We are at Summer Nam in Nashville talking to Robert Keeley, famed pedal builder. Robert, good to see you. Great to see you, Sean. Always great. Thank you. It's it's loud, of course. We're across from, <laughs> from some shredders, but at least it's the last day of the I've show, right? I've to turn up several times. <laughs> so you have five new pedals here with, with a lot of knobs, a lot to talk about, but yeah. this is pretty exciting. This is really fun right here because this is a, you know, a full thick fuzz and into our our modulation section, which includes a, a, a univibe type of sound, a rotary speaker sound, and then lastly a delay reverb sound. So you can get some really classic sounds. This pedal is called the Dark Side, and it's it's designed to kind of emulate some of those classic sounds that David Gilmore got. It, it, of course, it does a plethora of other things, but it's really fun, like what you heard in the intro there. So when people, you know, people who are David Gilmore freaks, they analyze every part of his chain from his Strat to his high watt amps or WEM amps and cabs to his, you know, Echo Rack. Sure. When you Gilmore -ish, were right? Gilmore's yeah. website, right? Right, right. So I like did you get down to that level of granularity trying to mimic no. a Benson tones for the delay? And no. What we do is we get, it's, my, my concept has always been neo-vintage, new vintage. So like with the Monterey, where the octave was not the Octavia circuit, it went octave up and octave down and it was a nice clean one. This is, is my interpretation of, if they could make the improvements back then, if they could increase the range back then, they would have done it and, and they would have given more sounds to it. If there was a, a way for them to control the speeds with their foot, you know, or, you know, uh, have these kind of parameters, uh, then I'm going to give it to them now, and I think that it allows you to be more creative with, with this tool now, uh, not having it. So um, that's kind of my concept, Neo Vintage, for all these things. Gotcha. So for the fuzz tones, you sort of went for yeah. big, big Muff style though, yeah, right? I mean, exactly, but I used an IC version, and, and we've, we've changed up that circuit now for over a year, so we've got it pretty modified to a point where we've, we, we consider it very refined so that you can get, you know, really fuzzy, you know, hairy sounds or more refined, cleaner David Gilmore sounds. So it doesn't sound like the IC Big Muff, but it's it sure, you know, has a greater range. Do you want to show us a couple other sure, sounds from a this? a little bit more of that. through the the Susan, Susan Kettner, Kettner into a little yeah. this is a tiny little Marshall cab it's yeah. cool but I mean it, even through that it sounds really good that's wonderful yeah these, I think these are Hughes and Kettner deluxe and I think maybe a 10 inch speaker on that Marshall so relatively simple setup but it sounds pretty good so how much is this gonna go for before we start uh, talking about something else I don't know you know I have I have ad feature itis and I want to add more and more to it. Right now it sits at $299, but by the time I'm done with it, I could add another stomp switch, MIDI control <laughs> and stuff and bump it up to $329. But it'll probably rest at $299. I love that price point. So that's sort of that's like a street price? Yeah, okay. exactly. All right, what do we want to talk about next? Okay, great. So just to show, you know, there's there's like 16 different settings on the delay workstation. And uh, but I just want to capture a couple things. We were playing with this sound yesterday. I, I call it like BB King, Sweet Little Angel, or Live at the Regal. It's it's our hook reverb, which is our first spring reverb type of creation, into the hall here. So imagine BB playing through an amp with spring reverb, but then playing in the hall there, right, at the Regal. So let's see if we can get something going like that with a little bit of dirt. Pretty fun sweet. soundscape, right? So you had a little bit of breakup from from the, the the tube screamer type side of this pedal. You had the the spring reverb from a Fender type amplifier right here. Whether BB used a Fender, or not, I don't know, but maybe possibly. And then into a hall setting on this thing. It kind of gives you an idea of some of the sounds you can play with as you combine workstations and some of our uh, reverb pedals. Cool. So, so there's a lot more going on with these. Should we just hit a couple other features like sure. well, like the reverb? There's different modes. Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Hey, do you have something maybe worked out for the fugue? So the fugue setting on this is really kind of cool because it's an all wet signal. There's no dry to it, okay? And uh, it's just octave and up and down on the reverb. And it sounds kind of like a church organ at times. I don't know if, I, if we can be able to hear it. We, 
we need to get him to learn Light My Fire. I think Light My Fire <laughs> right now would be perfect. So, so you got the fugue setting, the spring yeah. setting. Is and there? Then lastly, there's a there's a what we call the DR763, which is kind of a hint to a Fender, and it's got the tremolo and the and the reverb going. So there you go. It's tremolo Completely too. Completely classic. It's it's absolutely addictive to play. When you get it home, you're like, wow, that sounds perfect. I can bring that to any gig, no matter what backline they throw at me. I'm ready to roll. Nice. So tell yep. us a little more about the El Monte. Okay. El Monte, exact same thing as the Monterey except it's got a two screamer front end. Not everybody in their brother loves a fuzz face like you and I do probably. They want something more conventional, something that they're used to. So like so, 808 style or yep. TS9 style? Well, Keeley style, <laughs> Robert <laughs> Keeley style. So it's got our baked mod and our mod plus in it, the mods we've been doing for 15 years. So it's it's a kind of a high, high gain modified tube screamer into all those sounds that are popular, like with the rotary, Leslie simulation, the Univibe, and the Wawa. So you can put an expression wow. pedal in here, you get a Wawa. The nice thing is, is we also have the insert on here now too. So you can go Tube Screamer into say your favorite, you know, Maxon Phaser or Jack DeVille pedal and then come back in here into the pedal and uh, run the modulation side. You can even run the modulation side in the effects loop of an amplifier and run the distortion up front. So we've given players lots of options nice. there. How much is El Monte? $299. $299. How about the Hook reverb. Well, you caught me there. 179. What a bargain, okay. huh? All right. La oh, Wait, two lastly, more. Let's let's just do this one. Okay. Bubbletron. Okay. Right. You got sound here. So now now we're gonna put a tube screamer on, a big muff on, and the bubbletron. <laughs> So this filter here is a Moog synthesizer filter. It gets all nice and smooth. Go ahead. So what the, what the Bubbletron does is, is, is it's my kind of homage to uh, Frank Zappa. He had several things called uh, a, a Dynaflange by Mick, uh, Mick Mix, I think was the name of the company at the time, and it gave him a dynamic phaser and a flanger. So it, it takes a little bit of setup because it's very envelope tack, but let's go ahead and listen to this, this phaser here, see if we can hear something nice and clean. There you go, you can hear it. It's, it's an envelope-based phaser, and it gets you like an envelope wah-wah type sound, auto wah type sound, but it, it's different. It starts to phase every time you pick a note. And the same thing is true with the flanger on there. You can, you know, pick it and it starts to flange at different things. Uh, so, so, so believe it or not, it's an envelope-based flanger. So the, the different knobs are oh, sensitivity, sensitivity, level, rate. depth, and rate. Yep, exactly. And those things give you the parameters to control setting it up for your guitar and your pick attack and how fast the envelopes open and close and stuff like that. How much is that going for? I think the Bubbletron is 199 Cool. Yeah. And why don't you just tell us a little bit about this? I mean, it's okay. got that many knobs. Yeah, you got to say this, something. Okay, this is what's great. So it's got onboard tap tempo for two for, for, for bank one, expression pedal control for, for the reverb bank. So that means you can tap in either right here, uh, your different delay settings. And then what's nice on the, we've got eight different ones, and they include things like vintage slapback to uh, uh, multi-tap, like uh, Benson type stuff like that. Uh, analog delays, digital delays, sub subdivided delays, uh, octave delays, you know, crazy stuff like that. Then the reverb section has got uh, a bunch of our reverbs, including the spring and, uh, say, a plate reverb and, and, and different, say, shimmer reverbs. But then at the end of it, we put in two different delay settings, an analog and a, and a digital delay, so you can get dual delay, dual tab delays. Like Eric Johnson and a lot of these cats have done something where they set up one tape echo for like say 450 milliseconds, another one for 650 milliseconds, and they run them together, you get this incredibly huge sound that's very rhythmic and stuff like that. So you can easily do that with the, the, the delay workstation. Can we hear a couple of settings? Yeah, sure. So let me set up something with a dual delay here. Now, I don't know if I've had him experiment with this, but let's see if I can get this correct, buddy. Let me, let, let me step around here real quick. Do, do we have a dual delay right now? So let's see. There we go, like that. So, so hit, hit one note. Spin. Yeah, you hear the you hear the you hear the, echo, the, the rhythmic echo to it. Yeah. Right. So that can be used really creatively. I mean, he, he can set up something where the, the timing between the notes, you know, adds a whole new level of co complexity to, to the music he's playing. 
How about if we hear just delay and more traditional reverb? Okay, great. I think uh, if we're up here in the reverb setting, right here in the delay setting, what do we have there? Just one second here, let me find something. <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to look at it from the top here. There, there we go, buddy. I, I don't know what I've get, what strange combination I've given you. That's perfect. That's awesome. Really cool. So you got expression control for the delay, the top bank. You said right. Yes, and what's nice is the expression is for the reverb bank, except the fact that we have oh. two delay settings at the end. Remember, and so now players can plug in there. And a lot of players wanted a di digital delay. They, they could use a foot controller to get into infinite repeats, right. and so we did that too. So the expression's for the reverb, you said? Yes. Okay. And the tap is for the delay. You tap in the delay, and then you can fade in reverbs, fade out reverbs, fade out the, the different morph effects that are on there. So you've got tap here and a tap, external tap jack? That's right, because some players wanted to hook this up to a universal controller where they can control the tempo okay. with one thing. Gotcha. So yes, it, it does seem that there's tap for two places to tap for just this one channel, but it's because some people wanted external control of it. How much does the delay workstation go for? $2.99. Cool. <laughs> all right, you hit the sweet spot on yep. that price. Pretty much it's similar for all of them, right? Where should people go online to find out more and find a dealer and all that? Okay, you can find a dealer and find out about all our pedals at rkfx.com or robertkeeley.com. Same place. Sweet. Thanks, Thank Robert. Thank you, sir. Sean, what a pleasure. Yeah. Aaron Same Pierce. here, man. Aaron, thanks for playing for us, man. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.